Hey everybody, welcome back to my, oh my god, let's just start that again. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. And today I will be reacting to episode 4 of Insatiable Season 2. And basically over the course of the past couple of days it's turned into, I might just react to like one or two episodes of Insatiable Season 2 to, let, I'm just going to react to the entire season. And if nobody watches it, it doesn't even matter because this show hooks me in a way where I have no way idea how to explain it. It is just a crazy mess of a show, but I love the mess and I love the crazy. And so far we have gotten, at the end of every episode, a possible dead body. So if that's not interesting drama, I don't know what is. <laughs> Let's go into episode four and I hope you guys enjoy it. Ooh, interesting. Another dead body, and who is the common denominator? You. It was an accident. No, it was just like that scene from Poison Ivy when Drew Barrymore pushed Cheryl Ladd off a building. You are poison, Patty. Hey, superstar. Dog. I, uh, trusting an, an impressionable girl with, with me? You don't think I'm a bad scene? You're not. Look around. Everyone here is focused on their future, and you can be too, if you- I thought you guys hated each other. D hasn't talked to you? No, I've spoken in days. Oh. Kind of starting to think I can't trust either of you. No, she's my sponsor, in Overeaters Anonymous. See, I knew she'd say something, <sighs> and- I'm so proud of you for going. Bob? No, Briggs, Daddy, Bob. A word, please? <laughs> Briggs, Daddy, Bob. <laughs> You're acting like a friend, not a father. I am trying to work through this as a team. We need to be parents together. Well, you probably should have thought about that before you decided to blow up our family. Just stop! I had this whole plan to party and wrestle and postpone real life for as long as possible, and now there's all this pressure to figure things out, and I just got into a huge fight with my parents. Do you want to grab a coffee or something? I don't know, talk about it? Uh, no, I shouldn't. Patty would... Oh. What they say, wherever you go, there we are. We both know how your future's going to turn out. <laughs> there, happy now. Does this dress make me look homicidal? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello? I believe we were called by your uh, pageant coach, Bob Armstrong. Oh shit, I forgot. Fuck, I cussed. Shit, <laughs> sorry. Again. Can I? Lose the weight. I was punched in the face by a homeless guy. I had my jaw wired shut and lost 70 pounds. That's amazing. It was actually really painful. Did the guy just like come at you? Or... I hit him first, but like I said, not a great role model. <laughs> now that I messed up with school. Oh, it's okay. I understand. I just wish I could get like a time machine and have a do-over. Yeah, I know how you feel. More than ever. You've always been dumb, but now you're crippled too. Please leave. <laughs> before I get one of my weenie workers to kick you out. I told you not to call me that. <laughs> I think this is that learning curve that everyone talks about. What are we supposed to do with a shit ton worth of product and no way to sell it? We need to make a splash. Find a way to, to get the word out. Uh, here? Oh, Dixie, you do that for me? No, I would do it for me. <laughs> I need the customers and you need the event space, so it's a ween ween. No. Oh, look at me. Now I'm single. I'm 39. You're 45. What am I supposed to do? Just jump back in the dating pool? You could. What exactly are you? Gay? Bi? Pansexual? Polyamorous? The only labels I understand are designer. <laughs> all I know... That is French. And now it's garbage. You're going back in the dating pool. You have to update your look. Oh my god, Brick. No. Lame. No. This. We've been at this point. We're totally safe. Blood runs with. That's it. That's it. That's 
their slogan. Oh, oh, I know, right? Oh, I am too. We should put them on napkins for the party. Like sanitary napkins? No, no, we should put it on a poster. We should. Do you realize that brick is that? Look, there are things about me, things that I never dealt with, that I could use some freedom from, that I wish that I could change, but I can't. But there's still hope for you. Forget about this. <laughs> My boyfriend. What? Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, who's your friend? Oh. It's always best to be the guest star. Kissing is very important to me. And I'm very verbal. Translation, she never shuts up. You're good. Oh. You. What the hell? I missed you so, so much. Where were you? What happened to your boots? Well, I went to Brazil to get discount plastic surgery. To come home. And if he hadn't oh. died, what would you just stayed away forever? I'm so sorry. Or he definitely was my dad. I was drinking a lot at the time. And so there's a possibility it was someone else. You know what? You were right. Your best definitely wasn't good enough. Not right now. Oh, because you're following Patty. Not that it's obvious, you know, just I see the signs. So obvious. Of <laughs> but my life is a total mess. Oh, yeah, sounds horrible. You're a beauty queen with a hot boyfriend. You're not listening. You want to know the truth? I am a murder suspect, okay? What? Yeah. But the worst thing I ever did was making you into a liar so many times that I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to make that up to you. <laughs> I know, no matter what, your future is going to be bright because you really are the best guy I know. No! You really are. Bob Barnard, thank you so much for getting the word out. This would not have been possible without you. Come on up here. My will. They really are um, bonded, hey. My platonic soulmate. And if I win this election, I'm gonna make you Mason Bell's very own first lady. Are they serious? They Are you fucking kidding me? Oh boy. Bob, Bob. It ain't a party without a blowout. You know, I can't believe you. I am so tired of feeling like the bad guy when the two of you betrayed me. Made me choose. The two of you want to act like I'm the one who ruined your lives when he's the one who threw the grenade in the middle of the relationship. And now look at you. So Friends happy out. making a life without me and I'm the one left out in the cold. Your will and grace mayoral bullshit. Oh. I'm running for mayor too. The f Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? Dad, that was the most conscious unthruppling I have ever seen. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> really? Can I get in? Yes, it is. Okay. Angie, what the fuck are those? <laughs> Got a good deal on them? Did you? Two for one. <laughs> Over. Your life really is a mess. Well, true. May test. That's a thing. I already ran your Gordy samples, so we should know in just a few minutes. Hey, where's Becky? Hi. Um, Patty Bledel. I did all of those things tonight, and I feel really good about myself. Oh. I finally have a real story to share, and I'm not afraid to get up here. And tell it. So strong. So strong. Uh -oh. Where was Bob? I couldn't wait to tell him what happened. Gordy's not your dad. Okay. Good side. But it didn't even matter anymore. There was good in me. Despite my DNA. That was the outfit I was wearing when they found me. That's what she was wearing when I killed Christian. Which she may or may not have seen. Oh my god. It's a clue. 
Maybe those girls know what happened to you. I can help you. I we had a positive moment and then it comes crashing. I really like that episode. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a really, really good episode. Like it was really focused on Patty kind of moving on and kind of having that she had like that dad gaudy in the back of her mind this entire episode, which mind you it was a very good story device, like plot device type thing because that was her like self-conscious so it was another way of displaying what she was thinking and feeling about that time and she was really going like I am poisoned by the way I've been created and all of the actions and things that have happened have made me this bad person which we've touched on a lot of times so far in the series but then adding the like little sister in as well that just added a new element and it kind of allowed those walls to kind of break down those I'm a bad person kind of walls. So I liked seeing the progress of that, but also the whole thruple situation coming to a halt and a close and a bang. Like, that worked really freaking well. Like, this, I'm really excited to see what happens next in the story. And now they've dangled this, like, Magnolia clue. So we're still, like, hooked on like kind of say like what is going to happen next is patty going to get away with it but also do, we still haven't figured out who killed roxy also that cop so obvious that he's being he's following like it's not even a disguise or anything but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did make sure you give a thumbs up leave a comment down below make sure to click subscribe and i will see you guys next time okay